Hi everyone and welcome to this week's three minute pause. I don't know about you, but I feel very overwhelmed at the moment. Overwhelmed by the world situation that we find ourselves in. Overwhelmed by pressures of work and of ministry and of family life. Overwhelmed contemplating the uncertainty and the fear of what might happen in the future. But today I was reminded of another time in my life when I was overwhelmed and how God ministered to me in that moment. I've just got back home having recorded some videos with Reverend Sam about the Bible and as part of that I dug out this. This was my childhood Bible, a Bible bought for me by my parents in the year 2000. It was well thumbed, it's well used, I still get it out every now and then today. And it's a Bible that is highlighted throughout and each highlight Almost all of them carry a memory of a moment in which God spoke to me. And the one particular moment I want to share today is when I arrived in India uh, during my gap year serving with BMS World Mission, the Baptist Missionary Society. I was 18 years old uh, with a team of three other 18 year olds, actually one was a bit older. And I remember arriving off the plane in New Delhi airport and being utterly overwhelmed. The smells, the noise, the chaos, the very thoughts of being there for six months and attempting to lay down roots and to serve in ministry as we taught street children and was involved in a church there. I remember feeling utterly inadequate and just wanting to get back on the plane and go home. I didn't know what to do. And then I opened my Bible and Psalm 125 was there. Everyone who trusts the Lord is like Mount Zion that cannot be shaken and will stand forever. Just as Jerusalem is protected by mountains on every side, the Lord protects his people by holding them in his arms now and forever. Isn't that a wonderful image of strength, of being held? Exactly what was needed in that moment of being overwhelmed in India when I was 18 and exactly what I need to hear today as I'm overwhelmed by the world situation and by life as it is now. I want us all to hold on to that image that we are held in the arms of God, to know the hope and the security and the safety that that gives to us. That when all other else around us is uh, failing and is scary, God is and will always be. But also I want to challenge you to go away and to open your Bible and to reminisce and remember the times in which God has spoken to you and ministered into your life. And if he never has done, let us pray that he will today. Let's look back. Let's allow God to minister to us in the present and let's find faith and hope for the future. Amen.